So I've been sprouting beans for a couple of months now, and my latest entry into bean sprouting is pinto beans and black beans. So these are pinto beans that I've sprouted over a three-day period, and they came out very well. You can see the sprouting tails in these beans. And although I'd watched many videos that showed that you could sprout various types of beans and seeds, I had to experience it firsthand for it to be true in my experience. And so this is the first time that I've sprouted beans other than lentils and chickpeas. So these are black beans and I did not know that black beans could be sprouted but and then when you sprout them you find out that uh, what you call black beans is just the outer shell right on the inside they look like cashews they look like peanuts right and so um, what I want to do is pack up these beans and get them ready right and these are chickpeas that I'm pouring water into and so um, I'm going to sprout those because I want to have some chickpeas in the rotation as I consume the black beans and the pinto beans, right? And so I'm starting up a rotation where, you know, you have about anywhere from five to about seven days. And you can stretch that to 14 days on beans that have been sprouted. And the thing is, is that for me, it's not so much the amount of days that the beans are optimally good for, but it's that I really do consume these beans, and um, I might consume them twice a day. And so, so ideally, I would have um, fourteen. I have fourteen uh, batches of beans, right? Fourteen uh, bags of these sprouted beans, but. I typically don't retain that that many. I retain probably anywhere from seven to ten bags of these beans, and at that rate of consumption of uh, you know uh, two bags of sprouted beans uh, a day on average, then I am um, I'm needing to keep a rotation going. And so chickpeas is one of my favorites, so I wanted to make sure I put those into the rotation. I sprouted all of the black beans and the pinto beans, and now I got these uh, in particular bagged up, and I'm, a, I'm going to refrigerate these. And then I have a couple of um, black beans and pinto beans that I'm going to set aside, and I'm going to let those uh, get as close to microgreens as possible, but not go all the way there. And then this is the next set. Like I said, I'm doing the uh, garbanzo beans, otherwise known as chickpeas. And off to the uh, right, that's the water that I use to drain some of those beans out of, you know, drain out of those uh, those bags. And then uh, the black lentils I'm going to do next. And I was able to get, I was able to reuse some containers uh, for this process. Uh, I bought some uh, arugula at reduced price. I'm, I just want you to know, you shouldn't be afraid of uh, reduced priced uh, beans in any shape, form, or fashion because... Um, you can get a great deal with that, and based on how you prepare that, um, you can you can end up with some some great stuff. And so I got power greens, right? And I got some spring mix, and I got some more power greens. And so I've gotten rid of the cans. I've eaten all the canned beans, and those are gone. And I decided I'm not going to do canned beans in the future, unless they um, are just water and beans, right? I'm just going to do the sprouted beans because in my uh, sense, they're healthier, they're better for you, and it's the way to go. So I hope you found this walkthrough bean sprouting illuminating and insightful. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Please like this video, and I will see you on the other side.